We're going to work on the gas valve. We're going to test this thing out. So there's a screw right down on the bottom. It's a Torx bit, uh, T15. Um, we take that single screw out, and this important step here of how do we take this front cover off using a standard blade screwdriver. There's two little notches, if you will. I'm simply going to depress these, these little levers in here. The important part is taking this front cover off as square as possible. Okay, a tendency out there is to try to hinge this, lifting the bottom half first. Don't really want to do that. It's taking it off complete square, if that makes sense. And what that's going to give you is your temperature sensor. This is your, your thermistor, your temperature sensor. And what we're going to be testing here is we have three separate pin connectors. This common pin, this is going to be our main burner pin, and this is going to be our pilot pin, or we refer to them as coils. All right. What we're going to do is measuring resistance. So on my multimeter here, I'm going to set that to a resistance reading. And at this time, I'm going to set this, this cover off to the side using my test leads, again, set up to measure ohms resistance, the upside down horseshoe, and we're looking for a specific value. So between the common terminal, my pilot terminal, we should have somewhere between 11 and 13 ohms. Measuring this resistance value again between 11 and 13 ohms, this coil is testing out right about 11.8, so that's a good part. The other coil is our main burner coil, so measuring again from our common, my right hand, to the main burner coil, my left hand, that should give me the same resistance, 11 to 13 ohms. And this reading is actually going to be 11.9. And what's very interesting is very commonly you see the same resistance value between your pilot coil and your main burner coil. An example of a bad one is anything outside of that 11 to 13 ohm range. If it's in that range, it's good. Out of that range, it's bad. And that would lead us to changing the gas control.